Hey guys, it's Nick. I'm at the Victoria train station in Athens and I just got myself a hero. I'm gonna eat this hero here in the park at Victoria station and then I'm gonna walk to Ammonia and see is Athens really dangerous at night? I did a video of this like three years ago. I'm gonna take pretty much the same path and see what's changed since that time, since pre-pandemic. So after I eat this, I'm gonna start walking. Street horses out here, you got everybody. Guys, finish my food. Let's start walking to Ammonia. So it's about 10.30 on a Thursday night and you see there's a lot of kids out here in the park running around, um, you know, playing with their friends from the neighborhood. That's something you really don't see anymore uh, in the U.S. I don't know, it's just because, you know, it's hot inside and it's a nice night and, uh, you know, good warm weather and all that, but you see that a lot here in Greece and Spain, places like that, but you don't see that in the U.S. Let's see, here's the cops over here. Let's see what they're up to. Busting some perps? I don't know. But um, I don't know if why the cops are here, but it may be because this area is known for something. area is known for something and it's not cats. I'll give you a hint. Read the sign right here. So that's what this area is. Every place you see that light outside that little house uh, it's a white light but it should be a crimson colored light <laughs> don't censor me YouTube <laughs> Areas like this are generally in not the best areas. So it's about 10.30 right now, and I'm gonna head on this street that pretty much takes me to Ammonia, and then I'll probably stop there or continue on to Monasteraki. So, 
got this Kabul restaurant, which is obviously Afghanistani. And uh, seems like a lot of the area over here is like Arabic and Pakistani and stuff like that. Akronan, which goes all the way back to where I'm staying up in Katapatisia. And so here is kind of a shisha bar place. A lot of people out. lively out here even at 10 30 with you know kids out their parents everybody's out here uh, in a few blocks though closer to ammonia it gets uh i would say more desolate if i remember it so i think we're coming up on that pretty soon and here are these lottery places that uh <laughs> people hang out and go to to lose money. across the street. Barber shop, little bodega.
So, so far I would rate this, you know, fine. Um, a lot of people out, everybody's doing their thing, enjoying their night out. So to me, it doesn't seem dangerous. And like people say in the comments, that they would rather walk through here at night than at some place like Detroit. And <laughs> I totally agree. I'd much rather walk around here than a lot of places in the US, that's for sure. As some Greeks commented in my previous video, a lot of them said, look, Greece is a safe place. You know, you're just highlighting the little pocket of area that, you know, maybe is not that safe, but 99% of Greece is very safe. <laughs> and uh, this is probably an area that most Greeks avoid anyway. So it's not a big deal, but uh, I guess it would be boring if I just walked through a really safe area. Excuse me, you speak English? Yes. Is this area safe? Yes. It is safe, yeah? Yes. Okay, because some people say ammonia area at night is dangerous, crime, this and that. No? It's good. Okay, so there you go. You have it from Greeks themselves. that <laughs> they got bars on the windows going all the way up to the top floor. Um, <laughs> that's a little, uh, that's a little paranoid, uh, you know, maybe for good reason, uh, maybe that was in the past or something like that, but uh, that reminds me of driving around in Bushwick, Brooklyn in the uh, what, late 80s, early 90s, and I, I remember seeing something like that, like a, a four, four-story house, and they had bars on the windows going all the way up to the fourth story, and there was no way for somebody to get up to those four stories, you know, maybe the first or the second floor, but uh, all the way to the fourth floor, they had bars on the windows, and it made me think, damn, this neighborhood must be really dangerous if uh, they got to bar all the windows all the way up. But last time I came here in 2019, uh, right around this area, I think right over here, there was literally like, I don't know, 10, 15 homeless guys, you know, doing drugs and stuff, uh, even in the daytime as well. And so I don't see them here right now. Maybe they moved on, maybe they cleaned up this area a little bit. Uh, but they were right over here. I've seen them in the daytime when I came and i seen them at nighttime and they were all over this area so um well, maybe i spoke too soon okay like i said uh it looks a lot better to me right now than it did three years ago when i came out here so Maybe that answers the question. Which way am I going? Straight up?
definitely have some questionable characters down here. Uh, <laughs> not to say that Athens is all of a sudden squeaky clean and free of homeless and drug addicts and prostitutes and stuff like that. Uh, but like I said, it looks a little better since the last time I came out here. But okay, maybe I spoke too soon. So it looks like maybe those people I was talking about moved on to a couple of these different side streets over here. So they're definitely out here. But uh, the question of a lot of people ask is, you know, especially a lot of women, they say, hey, I'm staying at a hotel in Ammonia. Is it safe to go out, you know, after nine, 10 o'clock or something to come back to my hotel room? And I would say it probably is. <laughs> Just, you know, don't be drunk, don't be showing any jewelry or anything like that, and you'll probably be all right. And so there is ammonia, and let's see who's out here right now in ammonia at probably about quarter to 11. I see they got some outside restaurant here. And I tell you what, uh, last time I came here, the middle piece here with these waterfalls was all under construction. So it definitely made it, uh, gave it a kind of, you know, run down, kind of gloomy kind of feeling, especially at night. But them opening this up and got the waterfalls going and stuff, it definitely changes the vibe. A good amount again this is not <laughs> this is not Disneyland or nothing like that but it definitely looks a lot nicer a lot more people out it looks like so uh, you know this is what ammonia looks like at night right here in front of the Hondo Center which I started my other video at during the daytime so guys this is what Greece looks like at night walking from Victoria to ammonia square you got the waterfalls behind you. It's about quarter to 11 at night. A lot of people out. It's a dangerous, it, every place is dangerous. Um, you know, if you don't kind of uh, watch your back and be aware of your surroundings. But just looking at this right now, it seems fine to me. So I guess I answered my own question. Greece at night isn't really dangerous and and just like every place in the world, there's areas that are more dangerous than others, but generally a lot of it is overblown. Like here, you see a lot of people out. So hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.